Workout three is going to be Kelly. Again, it's another five round for time workout. Um, this one is going to be a long, steady pace workout. As opposed to, we'd say, Barbara for workout one. It was five rounds per time, high intensity, long side duration. DT, five rounds per time, shorter in duration or intensity. Um, this one's going to be long and steady. 400 meter run, so hopefully we've good weather, whatever day you pick to do this one. 30 box jumps and 30 wall balls. Standards, 20 inches for males, 24 inches for females on the box jumps. 9 kilos for males, 6 kilos for females on the wall balls to a 10 and a 9 foot target respectively there. Um, score is just total, total amount um, of time that it took you to do the 5 rounds. Again, we can scale this back down a little bit if it needs be. We may need to scale the distance of your run. Alright, so we want to be, I don't want you walking 400 meters. If 400 meters, when you're doing it in your warm up, it's going to take you like two minutes, um, up around two minutes, then I want you scaling it back. So maybe go to 300 meters, maybe 200 meters if need be. But try to find a distance that you can just maintain and keep going at a steady pace all the time. Don't want you having to stop, walk, go again. Is that right? So just find a distance on that one that you're able to maintain. Um, your box jumps, obviously we can lower the height and try to stay with box jumps and that would be a preference or we can do step ups. Wall balls, um, especially for this one, if we don't, not many people might have a wall ball or um, a wall high enough that you can throw it up onto. If you're doing your workouts inside, so we can do thrusters instead of that one. Um, if you don't have anything that you can do box jumps onto, we're gonna do squat jumps um, over an object. So we'll go through that one in the warm up as well. Other than that, um, that should pretty much cover uh, something for everybody on that one. A couple of things just to be conscious of when you're doing it. Make sure that we're hitting full range of movement on each of the exercises. So for when it's your wall balls and we're getting right down into your full squat and fully extending, you're hitting your target each time. On the box jumps that we're locking out with the hips on the top of the box. It's going to be um, a moderate pace, I was just saying, so go at a moderate pace from the start. Don't go up too hot or it's going to catch up with you really quick and come round three and four. Um, your first round, if you want to have an idea of whether you should scale this workout or not, if your first round is taking like seven minutes plus, then scale it back. So you can either scale the reps, if you scale your run or whatever version of the exercises that you're doing, if you scale the height that you're doing your wall balls to, something like that. All right, so whatever you think is str struggling um, to get through that round in less than seven minutes, but the rocks are going to get longer as the rounds go on. Again, different fitness levels, different time scale. Um, anywhere from like sub 20 is going to be a really, really good score. Um, to, 40 minutes, maybe 45 minutes as well. Um, so that's kind of the time frame that we're looking at in this one of steady, constant work. Last thing, especially on your box jumps, just be careful. Right? Legs are going to be tired, lungs are going to be tired, heart rate is going to be going um, quite a lot. You'll probably be feeling sorry for yourself. So make sure your box jumps, you're staying nice and safe on them. Get right up and um, don't want any casualties on that one.